Welcome back guys to another video. This is Karan Singh with Optimal Homes. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the market report for the city of Livermore. We're gonna be looking at July, 2021 and comparing it to July, 2020 and making some assumptions of where this market is headed um, and what to expect, especially if you are a first time buyer looking to buy in the neighboring cities of Livermore or in the city of Livermore. So before we get started, fun fact about Livermore, Livermore is named after a person named Richard Livermore, um, who was a British citizen who had jumped ship uh, around the Monterey area and ended up in California. Um, and at that time, uh, this is, I'm talking about 1844, uh, at that time, California was part of Mexico. It was originally part of Spain, Spain, but they had a war and then Mexico took over and Mexico owned California. So this guy got uh, the land, I'm sure he bought the land or it was probably pennies at that time from the Mexican government. Um, and then eventually in 1850, the American uh, Mexican war happened and then it became a union, uh, became part of the United States. So, and also Livermore is known as the oldest wine country in California, yes oldest wine country they uh if you look online uh they're saying that the first uh vineyards were grown around 1797. all right let's get right to the board so um if you look um like how i always do my reports on the left is uh numbers from last year july 2020 and on the right is july 21. so number of units sold uh last year around this time were 125 and number of units sold this year in July is 107. Almost a 14% decline there. We are in a shortage, even though we're seeing overall, you'll see the year to date numbers are higher. But in the summer months, we did the city did experience just a shortage of inventory and just a lot of, a lot of people wanting to buy. So less units sold uh, this July. Average sales price last year was 950,000 and that's probably this is remember this is a detached report it doesn't include condos and townhouses it includes uh, single family homes only so around that range you were able to buy a 3 to 4 bedroom home this year average sales price is 1.25 million almost a 32% jump there and that's like you've been seeing in all my videos it's just a crazy shortage of supply and demand is very high days on market not very different 14 days last year were uh, once they went from contract to close 14 days this year uh 12 days year to date sold here's what i was just mentioning earlier last year there were about 506 units sold and this year we're around 722 if we compared it to 19 and 18 we're still playing catch up but uh, good sign there that we're starting to see more units come on the market after uh, we've sort of gone over and done with this pandemic. Next, it's the sales price versus list price. So that's what you list your home for and what it actually ends up selling for. Last year, homes were selling about, if you listed it for $100, it was selling 1.33%, almost, you know, a little over a percent higher than asking price this year if you've listed it on average it's selling almost eight percent higher than asking price so those were the numbers on the board here for this year and we compared it to last year now i really wanted to talk to my first time buyers in this video because uh, uh i've been talking to a lot of you guys on the field and a lot of my, a lot of you are my clients uh the big question is what can my money buy me in the city of Livermore or in other neighboring cities here. So I wanted to go over uh, some basic data with you here of, so kind of give you an idea of what you can buy in the city of Livermore right now as far as bedrooms and bathrooms are concerned. If you look up on the board here, I'm going to show you uh, what those numbers look like and excuse my nasty handwriting. So uh, if you are a first time buyer right now looking to buy in the city of Livermore, Right now, a three bedroom is gonna range from 850,000 to 1.1 million or a little bit above that. But if you're, if you're buying in the 850 to 900 range and it's a three bedroom, it's gonna be a small home, probably around 
1100 to 1400 square feet now if you are buying uh, in the million range or a little bit above the million range you can uh, the, the three bedroom house can be a little larger so anywhere from 1900 to 3000 square feet that's your three bedroom homes for you and uh, these are mainly uh, a minimum of two bathrooms four bedrooms uh, you're looking at a uh, range from 950,000 to 1.4 million and it's very similar to the range that I talked about in the three bedrooms if you're buying around 950,000 if that's your price point and that's what you qualify for then your home is going to be smaller probably in that 1500 to 1400 square feet range and those bedrooms going to be a little bit smaller uh, but if you're buying in that 1.4 million range you're looking at 2400 square feet and above again minimum of two bathrooms uh, if you're looking for five bedrooms plus the range is going to be it's going to probably start in the high 1.3 million or 1.4 million and it's going to go above now this these numbers that i'm sharing with you here um, are numbers that um I, i'm look this is very relative data these, these are numbers only for the last three months that i've pulled up for properties that i've sold in the uh, city of livermore so these are averages from the last three months so if you're looking to buy right now you can expect to, to go, up, uh, go up against these uh, price points that I just penciled out there for you. And that's it for today, guys. If you're a first time buyer, first step, like I always mention in my videos, get pre-qualified so you understand and you know deeply what you can work with, what your numbers look like, what you're comfortable with, and then understand the market of where it's at. Like I'm going these numbers, but you should first know what your comfort level is and what you can actually afford. So get qualified. And if this video was useful to you, insightful to you, please share it with your family and friends. And if you're experiencing something or you're a first time buyer, you're in a transaction, you're looking to buy, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below or you can email me directly because I love to hear from you. Again, this is Karan Singh with Optimal Homes. Until next time.